Here's the thing, I have many facts about this thing, but none are that captivating as the video you're looking at is static. Here's that same thing again with the same facts, but now with a dynamic video shot of that object. The facts are just as compelling as the shot since the shot is moving. Today we're gonna to design and build a motorized rotating platform to improve your B-roll footage. A dynamic shot of a stationary object is a great way to improve filler content in a video. There's lots of 3D printed versions of a rotating platform that are great for small items, but this build is gonna be focused on something for medium sized objects with a comparable weight as well. First, let's meet halfway and look at the low tech hand powered solution. Here's two pieces of wood and about $8 worth of roller bearings. This platform doesn't make for smooth continuous shots, but it's better than nothing. It's also very helpful to rotate said object without picking it up multiple times. Anyway, we need something cheap that has adjustable speed and can hold some mass, say five pounds to be safe. The solution for the turntable is again, why buy it when you can build it? The rotating platter is comprised of four bolts and four five by five by 16 millimeter bearings. That's four M5 by 20 millimeter bolts and four 625Z roller bearings, which is about under $6 in parts here and it's much cheaper than the actual turntable bearing. This is my first version and it's sticking with what I know and already designed. This is the indexing platter from my small parts counting machine. I have plenty of these NEMA 17 motors, so why not use them? And that's where the problem is. When I unmute the audio, you can see the issue. Yeah, that NEMA 17 motor is loud when you drive it from a basic L293 driver. Sweeping through the RPM range also shows a few speeds that tickle the resonance frequency inherent to this design. I do have a damper installed in the motor, along with bolts loosened so the vibration isn't transferred so much. However, running the stepper at the lowest speeds without micro-stepping make the movement extremely jerky. I don't want to put more time or money into a better driver or gearing this stepper down to add complexity, so I'm going to scrap this version. Version 2 is a unique example. Many years ago I bought four of these appliance stepper motors thinking they would be a good solution for my Venduino, but they were not. This is the 28BYJ-48 variety seen in many Arduino kits. These steppers are geared down 64 to 1, which is great for this application. However, they are extremely weak, but if we stick four of them in unison, we can mitigate that issue. I've also geared down the driving gear from 12 teeth to 10 teeth against the previous iteration of this design. The drive gear to the turntable platform is 1 to 8, or 10 teeth on the driving gears and 80 teeth on the larger platform gear. From the perspective of the turntable platform, we top out at 3 RPM with this gear ratio compounded with the stepper motor's max speed, which is about 24 RPM. Building the circuit looks like this. I added a reverse or rewind button to give some extra leeway when trying to set up a shot. It's unnecessary, but it's fun to do stupid stuff anyway. This potentiometer controls the speed, which is capped between 1 RPM and 24 RPM in the code. A separate DC supply for the stepper motor is a must. I'm driving these motors at about 6 volts. I've read comments that you can drive these motors above 24 RPM at higher voltages, but your results are going to vary. The code just loops through removing the stepper one step while also checking the potentiometer value. This value is mapped to the stepper's speed. Pressing our rewind button just calls the stepper to reverse direction, hence the negative one. Disclaimer, you've probably noticed this is a prime example of a simple tool that if you need it, you should just purchase it. It's another example of why buy it when you can build it for three times the cost, but I'm pretty stubborn and I have all these motors I want to use anyway. If you are just starting this project, I do really recommend buying a DC motor with an attached gearbox. You can find these 77 RPM motors, and if you gear it down 10 to 1, you're around the range that is good for a turntable. If you add a PWM driver, you've solved most of your variable speed demands with this project along with the electronics. A servo motor would likely be the next better choice. If this is something you want to build, I've linked the build materials, 2D CAD files, and Arduino code in the description below. Hopefully you'll see this tool used in some upcoming videos as I'm hoping to get some mileage out of it. Anyway, well, thanks for watching.